Okay. Good morning, fellow Americans. <laughs> um, all right, so we had an over-the-board tournament um, this weekend, which was awesome. So I'm going to play some games, and then I'm going to do some reviews, and hopefully uh, that ends up being fun. I'm going to only play a couple of games. I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'll probably play like three or four games, and then I will... Um, just because I want to, like, I'm itching to play a little bit of chess. Um, I know that sounds weird because I just played, like, 18 hours of chess for the last two days. But I really like the game. Um, and then I'll probably review the first three games today, um, which was the first day. So Saturday I played three games. Sunday I played two games. I took a bye on Friday because there was one game at night. But I had to pick up my daughter from the airport, so I couldn't make it. Um, so, anyway. Uh, that being said, let's get into the games. We'll see how we go. We are at our all-time high, and I am tired and burnt out from chess. I'm not burnt out because I want to play, but I'm tired from playing a lot of chess, so we'll see how the games actually go. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'm, like, zoned in. Maybe I'm not at all. We'll, we'll see. All right. I haven't played on chess.com in, like, over a week, so. All right. <laughs> have a ready opening with, uh, I don't I don't even play I'll, I'm just going to play the Kings Indian against this because I don't know what this usually looks like um, my instinct is to go here but I feel like this is bad um, I just lose tempo so um, we'll probably just play our uh, D4 standard um, Kings Indian opening Okay, so now we have this structure going on. Um, we're going to say continue doing what we're doing. Um, don't really see a reason to shuffle it up a whole lot. Okay. So, we have good pressure going on. Um... If we take, or if we push, if we push and he pushes, like we're kind of okay with that. If we push and he takes, which is more likely, and we take back, right? Then he can do this and give us this. Um, if we castle first. On the other hand, in this position, I kind of want to push this pawn. Um, it makes them more likely to do this, which reduces the pressure of this. Um, and if he doesn't, if he goes like this and opens it up anyway, then so be it. I think either way we just castle now. Okay, so he did none of the above. Um, I'm going to bring this knight out. If I have to, I can bring this knight here. But really what I'm doing is I'm preparing for this. <coughs> this is kind of like Benoni style. And this is kind of what I was hoping for, right? Um, this position where life is kind of good, right? Um, uh, now the question is, you know... We want to move this knight out of the way because this is a great outpost. Um, where do we move this knight out of the way? Best. Over here seems okay. Over here seems all right. But then the problem is if he moves his knight, well, then I guess we just move back here, right? So we're really just kind of moving this knight back into this location. And then even if he takes back, we take back. And then we've got this really nice outpost. Um, guarded by our bishop. Yeah, that's fine. That's what we wanted to do. This was our goal in the first place. Okay. Um, so he just trades and we leave our knight there. Now he can push, obviously, but I don't know that that's like... 
a good move. Um, that's on him. To the side. Yeah, he did push. I guess he really doesn't like me on that outpost, which I don't blame him for it. Um, I don't know what this does. Um, it's kind of weird. I kind of want to get my knight over here. But I also want to push. Push, take. Mm, if I push right now, he can just full on do this. So maybe we prepare to push. Um, so we push, take, take, take. That's okay. Um, now we come over here. Um, and then we can double up on it. Okay, so he's just going to let us take the pawn. Which is fine with me. Okay. We don't really have anywhere to develop our bishop this direction. We can come out here, but again, this doesn't... I, I mean, in theory, this is okay, but he's going to trade it off for his knight, which I really don't want. So, um, this is also a bad square, so I'm just thinking about maybe not developing this right now. On the other hand, maybe this is the, this is the, maybe the right answer, right, where we push here and open this center up. Um, if he takes here, it gives us a way to... Okay, if we go here, he goes here, we take this, he takes this, we take this, he takes this. It's a pretty even trade. I don't love giving up our dark square bishops, but at the same time, actually, at the end of this whole exchange, here, here, okay, let's, let's think this through. We're going to do it, but let's think it through. Okay, we take here. He's gonna take here. We'll take here. Okay, what we don't want is to get in the checked. But this is where the end of the line that I'm looking at. That fork. Of course, you can block it like this, I guess. Right? So that probably wasn't great for me looking at it that way. I guess I, I didn't calculate that fully. Could have done a better job for sure. Um, it also wasn't like disgustingly bad, so. Um, and I don't hate our position here. He's got this one isolated pawn. Um, uh. This is a, a decent position to be in, I think, even if he goes like this. I'm okay with that.
This is a that's a shitty place for our queen to be in. Um, let's take this file first and foremost. <clears throat> now the question is, do we take here or do we let him take? No, we we take here. Yeah, of course. That's an of course, of course. Of course is a course, a horse is horse. A horse is horse, I like that. Okay. I think. Oh, we can come here. kind of like coming here um, maybe that's not the safest move <clears throat> it certainly doesn't feel overly safe come here this allows me to start trading and trade off the rooks <clears throat> pretty equal position He's lost sight with this. This dropped this pawn. That was unfortunate and a mistake. Takes, takes. Yeah, and he takes this pawn. So we have This position, which I think forces mate. You have here, here, here. Okay, that doesn't help. I think this is mate now. I mean, he has to block with his queen. Yeah, 
Yeah, now... Oh! That's guarded. Okay. Cute. If I check, he goes here. If I come here, he'll check. Okay, do we just create trade queens? I think we do. Oh no, we messed up. Well, we can come down here, so we're okay. Kind of, not really. Oh, we lost the game. Wow. Such bad skills. Does it, it doesn't say Elden Ring, does it? Fuck. It does say Elden Ring. Not my fault, though, to be fair. All right, so you're right. This Elden Ring expansion is pretty basic. Um, let's uh, let's change that. What do you say? Can I change it? Do I know how to do I know how to work this at all? Pro the the answer is probably not. I probably don't know how to work this. No, hold on. It literally doesn't say Elden Ring. Holy shit. You're fucking with me. Alright, let's look at this game. Why are you fucking with me? Why are you fucking with me, man? Just play Elden Ring. Wow, he played really well, and I played not as well. Okay, in this position... Yeah, it wants me to just play the normal, the normal move. I don't know why I always like default to this shitty move. Okay, all of this stuff was good and fine. What's best? This is one of my candidate moves that I was thinking about, but I didn't know why I was moving here. Why does it want me to move here? Interesting. Okay. It seemed like a good move, but I didn't know why it seemed like a good move, so I just didn't do it. What was my best move there? Ah, okay, fair enough. This was bad. My best move was to move this up so that he wasn't threatening both at once, which makes total sense. This is okay. That was bad. I've done this numerous times now. 
where I just make like shitty moves with my queen for like unknown reasons. There is not best. I should have taken like that. Why didn't I take like that actually? What was the problem with this? He still takes like this, but I keep my queen here and, I, and my queen's on the board. Ooh. What was our best move here? Where were we supposed to go? Back over top of that. And then here, supposed to push. That that's a very hard thing to know. Basically, from here on, like that, like all my moves got super questionable. Yeah. Okay. So what I was afraid of, for some reason, and this is really the game changer. What I was afraid of, for some reason, is going here would create this check. But I don't know why, because then I just win this pawn. And even though he pushes this, I come here, right? And if he doesn't, if he checks me here, then I just go here, and it's no big deal. Well, it's saying that's bad, but like, whatever. Let's say I go there. He comes here, and I just push. I just go this way. And I just don't see... I mean, it's saying he's winning, but I, I think this is probably a theoretical draw. Rook b6 check. e7. And then it's saying b7 check and e6. g3. Oh, I understand why he has a lead. Because if I come over here to win this pawn, I'm kind of fucked. But I have to, like, manage this stuff over here. It's still not, like, that bad, right? Like... You can, you can go like this and kind of zone him out. I could also come up here and zone him out completely, right? Like I can just go here. Okay, well, lesson learned. I don't know the commands anymore. It's weird. It says for me, I wouldn't. It does say Elden Ring for the game? Yo, guys, I swear to God, it doesn't. And I upgraded it, I updated it again. Oh, for the game, my title doesn't say that, but I forgot. There's like, I, okay, I haven't streamed in like a week and a, a week and a half. Okay, give me a break. Okay, next game. You guys were right. I'm stupid. Yes. I was like, my title says the right thing. What are you talking about? But apparently, not everything is just your title. So apparently, there's more than just a title in streaming. You can't just make a title and be a famous streamer. Um, which I don't know why, personally. I think it's dumb. But that's the rules. Them's the rules. Um, we just take here, I think. We take there. That's fine. We go here. We go here. We go here. Okay, if we go here, we go here, he pushes this way, then everything hangs, right? But this is check, he takes, okay, so we don't like that, we don't really want that to happen, but we're okay, we're okay just hanging out for now. That's annoying. He's trying to counter threat mate. Which letting me take here would be great, frankly. Oh, okay. Um, I suppose I could have just castled as well. 
but um, you know. This is a fork, so we don't like that. We go here, he forks us. Check. If we take, 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 we get two pawns. We're threatening this. Let's go for it. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling ambitious. We come up here. The rook doesn't have a whole lot of places to go. The knight also doesn't have a whole lot of places to go. It's not impossible. There are places. Now I take this. Now we're up three pawns for the piece. Okay. Okay. Now that's the way he has to do it, which is bad for me, without a doubt. Um, but life is okay still. It's just been better. He's up plus two. No, I didn't. That's a misclick. Misclick. Obviously. He's not going to accept a draw because he was winning, but I, that's, I mean, it is what it is. I really need to fix like my keyboard mouse setup. Um, because I do that too much. I don't know why I, um, I don't want to do that so often. He's not, he hasn't declined my draw offer, but he's not accepting it. Um, the draw, it was a mistake, clearly. 
No, no, just decline. I don't really mind losing. It is okay. It's fine. I'm only going to play like one more game. It's a bummer to lose, but um, I'm in an okay mood. I played a long chess game, chess day. Looks like he is not declining, um, which is okay. Um, it's fine. We'll just resign. Um, I don't want to, like, just sit here and wait for 10 minutes. I am curious, though, how unsound what? that was. He just rematched me. Like, no. Fuck off. Either... Okay, what's my best move here? To just go there. Fair enough. Okay, what's my best move in this situation? Bring my knight out? Interesting. What's the idea? Probably here with tempo on the queen. Yeah, that was an okay idea, but I'm sure it wanted me to castle, right? Um, yeah. Okay. And then this idea, okay, now I brought the knight out and it doesn't like it. Because what's the pawn that's under attack? Oh, I ignored a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. Which is... Okay, now it wants me to do this because I have no tempo against the queen. And I guess my knight can't go anywhere here. It, okay, so that makes sense. Here it, like, has squares. Um, I'm curious. So this is saying this is uh, really dubious. My best move here was to threaten the knight, I guess. But when he goes here, then what does it want me to do? Rook d3. Oh, and like double my rooks. Bishop c5. What happens when I double my rooks? Bishop d4. I see what it's doing. Okay. Um, realistically, in this situation, I feel like I'd probably do this. And you could go like this, but... You know, we have these, like, weird threats. That yeah, wants me to do it this way. Okay, cool, interesting, good to know. I made an interesting attempt at like a sack. Um, you live and you learn. Uh, okay, black pieces, play Sicilian. Pretty standard. Just in case he plays there. Okay, go here. Bring out our knight. Okay, castle, probably d4. This brings the bishop out. You can also bring the queen out, but this is probably a bad idea. Um, yeah, we don't wanna pin ourselves. We can go queen here. 
Um, or just like queen here in general. Um, I kind of want to push this knight out um, or go like this. If he takes, we have takes. If he takes, we have takes. If he pushes, we just take the pawn for free. Seems okay to me, I'm not sure. I imagine he'll want to take, take, and push, which is also okay. I come down here. I'm not really sure. Okay, so he just takes. That's fine. That's good. Um, yep, kind of had to take back. Okay. Um, uh, we can force him off. But then the question is, do we want to? Or we can take it and break up this, this pawn. Give him an isolated pawn, which I kind of like more, to be honest. If he takes with this bishop, I'll probably play here. Okay. So he takes with his knight. Um, that's fine. We'll develop here with tempo. He might do something like this. I'd like to move this up, get this rook into the middle. Maybe the other way around, get this rook in the middle and push this up since this bishop is locked out. There's no threat on this pawn right now. Okay, so we'll take this file. That's something you want to do anyway. Maybe we won't push this up yet. I don't want this coming in to threaten the rook. Um, Can also do it with things like doubling up. If we double up the rooks, we start to pose a serious threat of like coming in here, for example. Um, this makes us drop back, which is okay. Um, not the end of the world. It's very weakening though. The other thing I could have done is just gone like this. But um, there's no real need to. We're gonna come here next. Oh no, what do we do? What do we do? What did we do?
Well, now we're okay. If he comes here, we go like this. He takes, we take. If he takes, we take. Like, it's a much worse, it's always a worse trade. Oh, this is bad. He should not have let us do this. I'm not sure what he was doing there. Um, oh, okay. I miscalculated. It's fine. Um, but also we can take this with check. Hold trade. We'll take this with check. Or we can take this with check. Come here. Take it like this. Oh. Um, now that's pinned. <clears throat> we don't want to lose our pin. We can do this. Check. Let me go. How do we extricate this? Here. We have to figure out how to get out of this. Okay, that didn't seem like a good idea. I mean, yes, that's pinned, but so what? Because now we can go here. Okay, that's not, it's not a thing that we're worried about. This is a piece, that's a rook. Wait, what? How did I not? Okay. Brain not functional. Brain not functional. <sighs> this was just checkmate. Somehow I didn't see the threat at all. He went here, and it just didn't occur to me that, like, this is me.
That's super unfortunate. I should have taken with my rook, to be honest. And then gone here. Or I could have just gone here. No, I couldn't have just gone there. I took my rook like this. He takes back. I, I don't know. There was a, a million and one options. I was winning by a, a ton. Um, let's look at the review. We are looking at the review. Let's look at the review closer. We got to the end. We played everything right. Not everything, but... Wait, that's dubious? Because of this. Okay. Okay, that's my only move. Best? No, no, hold on. What do I play here? And if he blocks? And I play e4 check again. And if he blocks. And I play rook c2. Why rook c2? I'm so confused. No, okay. So. Oh, rook c2. How dumb are you? Oh, it pins the queen and wins the queen. Holy Christ. Okay, we are tired. We are tired. That's okay. Let's try again. Okay, white pieces. Oh, Scandinavian. I guess this is just what happens when you're like super, t <laughs> super tired. You've been playing chess all weekend. Just not thinking clearly. Which is all right. It's not the worst thing in the world. Just gonna castle. Um, I don't really know what that does. Um, I kind of want to play here. I don't know why I want to play here, but I kind of do. Um, but if I... Just gonna get oh thanks. Um, just gonna get the uh, the rooks off the file, or the the rooks connected. Bring them centralize them. I'll just play really really simply. Um, we play here right. He takes, and then we just get a pawn. I mean, taking this way seems like a really bad idea. Um, oof. That almost forks, but doesn't. Okay, let's think. What do we have here? Not a lot. <laughs> I 
Um, let's centralize this rook. Seems like a good idea to start with. <laughs> That's the reasonable play. We will come here. This allows us to fork these two and maybe force him to trade. <laughs> now he can't trade, so we get to fork these two. Now if he comes over here, that's going to be annoying, but not really because we check, uh, take this with check. So it would actually just be like a mistake in calculation. Okay, so he's really trying to figure this out. I don't blame him. Um, this is kind of a tough situation. Um, there's some things he can do, but not a lot. I mean, he's just, he basically has to retreat with his queen. <laughs> None of these positions, I mean, I guess that's an option. But like, then I'm taking this. Okay, this seems like not a good decision. Call me crazy. I'm now forking uh, these two pieces. He kind of has to go here, which is undesirable to say the least. I guess he can go there, but then I can go here and fork them again. Um, go there, but he loses a piece. I guess it would allow him to take this with check. Okay, that works. Um, And come here and threaten this pawn. <laughs> I'd also wouldn't mind doing this and getting the queen out of here. Okay. Um, I have to do something with this, right? So, if he takes, we take. If he doesn't take, we take. I don't like that we're just giving up all of these pawns, but I don't know what else to do about it right now. I don't feel like anything else is reasonable. He's going to trade this rook for that rook. Um, so we're down in exchange, which is unfortunate. go here okay
Whoa. Looks like we're losing this game too. It's okay. We'll do what we can. We also have this option. Have to take this way. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, that's a good move. Um, but I don't have to stay here. Yeah? Yeah, and I just lost because I'm trash. Not only am I trash in that way, but I'm trash in like 10 other ways. I'm like trash in like five different ways. I'm not going to look at that replay because I know that that was just ridiculous gunk. This isn't a normal opening. Um, don't really care what it is. I'm a little frustrated for various reasons, but... Um, I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm mad right now, 
But I'm... I would say that I'm not happy. Just gonna castle. I actually like having this pawn here and opening this rook up. I think that that trade works out for me, and I don't really like this bishop here. If he decides to go here, I also don't mind just letting him take that. Um, Truth is, I can then just put this here. Well, I would put this here, I guess. Right, to defend that. This isn't going anywhere. He can take this. That'll back. That'll defend this. Um, here I want to make sure that I'll just make him choose what he wants to do here. Okay, so he chose that. With that being said, we will likely move here. By likely, I mean that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Probably bolster this here. We're gonna move our eye out here. This is an easy take. I mean, I know that it's not like great in every decision, in every scenario but it feels good to me. Moves I like to make. This, 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 this. Probably not in that order. Probably this first, then this, then this, now then this, then this. <clears throat> Okay, we'll go like this. This defends this pawn. This is just a bad bishop. So as long as I can keep this bishop stuck, um, okay, so this is annoying for sure. But do I want to trade? Probably. I probably do. Trade this bishop for this. And toss a knight here. And defend the knight. Well, I, then maybe that's not good. But I'm okay with it. Trading now is probably right the right thing to do because once I get this here and here, the only way he'll get through is allowing this pawn back. <laughs> I 
On the other hand, there's this that exists. Yeah, if he doesn't trade that right now, he's in trouble. <clears throat> I say trouble, but um, I'm playing like just true dumpster fire garbage mode. So um, when I say trouble, what I mean is I suck and I'm always in trouble. I'm in trouble now and I'll be in trouble later. Let's think. Um, if he does trade, we obviously have to take back. There's not really much choice about that. Um, removes his bishop pair, which is fine with me. Okay, so he's decided to just not do that, which is okay. We'll just defend the knight, and then we'll defend the pawn. And then we'll get this out. And then we'll, we will have done all of the moves that we really wanted to make, which is nice. Um, we can then come in here and come here. Um, the truth is, though, we actually can make this move first. Because um, we have that luxury. I'm not sure what that does or why. Um... But we're going to make this move anyway. This would be a good way to prevent this. Um, but ultimately, this defends this. It looks like he's probably trying to double this rook, which is fine. This also defends this. Now this defends this, so we have one, two, three, and he only has one, two. So there's really no concerns there. <clears throat> we only need two defenders, so now we are still able to do this. And he is not able to get another defender on it without doing this, so. Oh, that's interesting. He still needs another defender on it, right? He can't get another defender on it. He cannot do it. Like, even if he goes like this, that would mean he would have to <laughs> take with his, lose his queen for two knights. So he could trade here now, and that'd be okay. But then he's going to trade here, and we're going to trade both rooks off. This is going to be a bad bishop, and I'm going to have a knight uh, that's in a decent position. So Again, it feels like his only real choice is to take with the bishop, um, because there's too many there's too many threats here. Because even if I take here and he takes here, and I can take there, 
And then what does he do? Take that? I mean... <coughs> or take this. And then I take this. Fork, like, I, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. So, he did, which works out great. I like it. Everybody else likes it. We're all happy. Actually, I don't know if everybody else likes it. I personally like it. But, you know, it's because we've now locked in this nonsense. Um, I don't think I understand that. We're only really defending the one thing. <laughs> I mean, if he takes this, he's losing a rook. So I don't know what this threat is. Take, take. <clears throat> but I already have two defenders on it. I take and he goes here. I can push here. Wait, if I push, he goes here. I push here. He has to go... That loses his queen, so he has to go here or here. If I push again... If he's here, he's stuck. If he's here, he goes up here, and I guess we trade queens. The other hand, he can just come here, but then that threat's off the table. You know, you can no longer defend that. Oh, then he loses his queen, yeah? We already went over this? Now we go here. Where can he go? He can't go there. He can't go back. He can't. Go there, he can't go there. He can't go here, he can't go here. Yeah. That's a dead queen. And he has 27 seconds left, so. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, that did not go as he hoped it would. I'm sure he'll just wait that out. Okay. GG. All right, let's play one more, and then we'll do a couple of game reviews. Um, okay, black pieces, we'll play Sicilian. Um, oh, we've got a uh, Rosalimo. 
Um, I think we're going to kind of ignore it for now. A lot of times he wants to take anyway, so there's no point in me pushing him to take. Um, at this point, I can go here and just trade. I think this, like, sort of delayed Sicilian thing, though, uh, is not really what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's fine. This... This is totally fine with me. If he takes, I take back. Like, it's just opening the pawn structure. If he pushes, this is still a pretty strong pawn structure, so I don't have any issues with it. If he's waiting for me to go here, okay. So, yeah. So now I have the whole center, um, which is nice. Um, I guess. I mean, we'll just lock it up. We're just going to make it really hard for him to advance his knight. He's going to have to come out here and, like, then what? Um, that's fine. I have no issues with this. I have this square as, like, an outpost. Uh, he's covering that now, so that's okay. But we're, we'll just castle for now. Um, probably come here. The other option is to threaten this. If we do this, he's likely to come here. Um... And then he's threatening this fork, which is uh, annoying, to say the least. Um, but let's do this and just prevent that so we don't have to worry about it. Now we can come out here. He can't come there. Um, I think we just take here, yeah? Well, let's think about it. What is this threatening? This is not a threat. That's not a threat. That's not a threat. That is a threat? But how much of one? If he comes here... Okay, so if he were to come here... Um, we went there... So let's see, here, here, ah, oh, maybe we go like this first, maybe that's the way to go, we just win a pawn. Do we win a pawn? Maybe we don't. And maybe we don't even want to. Maybe we don't even want to right now. Okay, I'd like to connect my rooks. I'll do this to make it look like I'm trying to pressure here. Um, my other choice is a push, push, take, right? <clears throat> but 
that I'm adding pressure to this pond. Okay, if I take this pond, and he comes over, we have escape routes. So, we have some escape routes. I push, he goes here, we come here. No, he can't even get up there. I think we, I, I think we get out, right? This is just a free pond. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Let's think about it though. I feel like he wants me to kick him or to take. Obviously if I take, he takes here. It's not super great for us. Not really what we want. On the other hand, we can take, we'll take, and we can push and just solidify this permanently. Which maybe I like. Maybe we'll just get rid of this threat entirely. Why would I accept a draw? He offered me a draw. But I don't know why... This isn't like a table-based draw. We're still pretty early in the game. I have lots of time to throw this. Why would somebody throw? Why would somebody draw when they... Do they just not know how good I am at throwing? I'm incredibly good at throwing. I can throw with the best of them. I'm like literally one of the best throwers there's ever been. Okay, this is a good move that we want to make anyway, and it allows us to come here and trade the queens. Uh, the other option is to push like this, and he, he kind of has to back out. I mean, if he comes close, he gets stuck forever. Okay, let's trade queens. He says no. Okay, then let's trade rooks. Um, I should have gone this way. That was a mistake. Um, dude must go outside. Isn't it a draw? I 
I don't... I, I mean, I, I find it weird that he's assuming that it's a draw. Um... I certainly wouldn't assume that it's a draw. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so what do we want to do here? Come down here. Trade, trade, trade. <clears throat> We're up a pawn. I don't think that makes it a draw. I guess he thinks it does. That would seem like a bad idea. Okay. This is bad for him. This is why it's not a draw. Now he loses that piece. <clears throat> I mean, does this feel like a draw? I, I don't know <coughs> why he thinks it would. Yeah, I mean, no, it's fine. Um, Yeah, that's not a draw. <clears throat> I'll just let him move there.
That's bad news bears. <clears throat> That's bad news bears. It's not a draw. <sighs> Sorry, he's I don't you know, I don't know if you can see, but he spammed draw like six times. And then was like, isn't it a draw? Um I didn't even badmouth him really. I just said it's not a draw. Granted, you could argue the way I said it was maybe not like the kindest and most chill, but you know. It's okay. Okay, look. Um, that was fine. It was a fun little day. Uh, I've been tired, so I don't expect much more. Um, that'll be the end of playing chess. What I'm going to do is... <laughs> yeah, definitely a draw, Kappa. Uh, 